Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Jason Laird. Welcome back. Hopefully you have not packed away the winter weather gear yet because we're tracking more of it as spring rolls our way. So with that said, today can't rule out a couple of light flurries into the foothills, but overall just cooler temperatures, 17 degrees in Great Falls, 23 as we head to western Montana, 25 in the capital, more mild though in northeastern Montana. Overall today again, we'll just see a couple light little flurries try to dust central Montana and overall pretty clear skies for a good chunk of the day. And then we're going to start to see building clouds though late into the day as our next weather system starts knocking at our doorstep. So with that said, we're going to peak out at about 38 degrees in Great Falls, 43 in the capital, staying below average in northeastern Montana as well. Tonight, really starting to feel the bite in the air, 20 degrees in Great Falls, looking at 24 in the capital, mid 20s west of the divide, teens and 20s along the High Line and northeastern Montana. Tomorrow, not warming up much as a cold front's going to start moving in. You can see on the temperature contour there, that cold Arctic air mass is really going to be sliding into the state over the next couple of days. So 27 in Great Falls, 30 in the capital tomorrow. So in anticipation of this system, the National Weather Service has issued a couple winter storm alerts. The big one is going to be the winter storm warning here in central Montana. So to kind of break down the rough average snow totals, I'll give you a more detailed look here momentarily. Western Montana likely about two to four inches. North central Montana anywhere from six to 18 inches. Eastern Montana likely about three to eight inches. But again, that winter storm warning is uh, encompassing pretty much all of central and north central Montana over the next couple of days. So come tomorrow morning, here's how that system is going to play out. We're likely going to see some snow pretty early tomorrow, especially in north central Montana. That will likely impact your travel plans. It is expected to start off as maybe a little bit of rain, then quickly transition over to snow. So in other words, it could be a slippery go of it tomorrow morning. That system is going to become more widespread, a lot heavier as the day plays out on Friday. That widespread snow is pretty much going to take over a good chunk of the state and just kind of camp out and snow pretty much all day on Friday into Saturday as well. So snow totals, all right? On average, in and around Great Falls, about 8 to 12 inches expected. A little bit less, though, as you head down into the capital, about 5 to 8. Really, the heavy hitter, though, is going to be in north central Montana. Cut bank, especially into the foothills, about 12 to 18 inches, not out of the question. 8 to 12 in and around Haver as well. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see some areas with localized heavier accumulations as well. Come Saturday, temperatures falling off the charts, single digits for daytime highs, especially in that area that's catching the brunt of the storm. Nine degrees in Great Falls, 14 in the capital, looking at two degrees in Cutbank. All right, looking at the big picture now as we go a little bit further in advance. So on Saturday, the whole reason behind all this snow is we've got a huge area of low pressure off of the North Pacific. That's going to just camp out and continue to wrap that moisture across the state. It's also going to allow for a lot of Arctic air out of Canada to settle in. So come Sunday, we're likely going to still see some flurries throughout the area, even colder temperatures expected there. The snow should start to let up, though, as we head back to work on Monday. Slightly warmer temperatures, but still way below average. That area of low pressure is just going to camp out off of the South Pacific coast. They're continuing to keep temperatures rather frigid. Here's how that translates over the next seven days. The good news, a lot less wind today. However, keep in mind, as that system moves in tomorrow, we'll likely see some gusty conditions along the leading edge of that system as it starts knocking at our doorstep. 43 degrees today in the capital flurries through the weekend. Keely.